welcome once again to the Learning Java with Dr. Pearson series. This is lesson three in our introduction to Eclipse. In this lesson, we'll learn how to open an existing Java project. The objectives of this lesson are to learn how to open an existing Java project using Eclipse and to learn some more Eclipse terminology and features. Recall from an earlier lesson that we have two workspaces that are related to Eclipse. First, we have a storage workspace. This is a folder on your hard drive where your Eclipse projects are stored by default. We also have a working workspace. The projects that you currently have loaded into Eclipse are visible here. You can see them listed in the Project Explorer window. Also recall in Eclipse that the set of windows that you see at any given time on the Eclipse environment is called a perspective. A perspective defines the initial set and layout of views in the workbench window. Each perspective is related to the type of thing that you are building in Eclipse. For instance, if you're working on a regular Java application, you'll have the Java perspective. If you are debugging an application, you might see a debugging perspective. If you're working on a dynamic web project, you'll see the dynamic web project or Java EE perspective. This means that you might have a different set of tools available to you immediately on the desktop, depending on what you're creating. Let's begin by opening Eclipse. In this view, my desktop is set up using the Java perspective. No projects are currently open, but I do see the Project Explorer window. I see a set of tabbed windows at the bottom to give me information about my project, and I see an empty editor window making up the bulk of the Eclipse user interface. The objective this time is to search for and find an existing project that I created earlier and then open it so that I can work on it now in the Eclipse environment. To start, move to the menu and click on File. One common mistake now is people would think, oh, open the file. That's what I did the first time I got into Eclipse. But actually, a project is more than just one file. So you need to think of it as you're importing a big set of things. And to do this, we need to do import. So open the file menu and then select import from the menu. As with most things in Eclipse, a dialog menu will appear. This one is the import dialog. You'll notice that it looks like a set of folders from which you can search for things. We are going to start in the general folder. If this is not expanded as it is in my view, you can click on the arrow to the left to expand or to collapse the actual folder listing. Within the general folder, let's select existing projects into workspace. Let's go to the next page. Here we get to select exactly which project we would like to import into our workspace. Make sure that the Select Root Directory option is chosen, and click on Browse. This is pretty much the same type of window you get most of the time when you need to search for a file on your hard drive. Navigate through this to get to the folder that you need to find your project. Most of the time it will open to the default workspace. As you can see on my screen, I am currently looking at a folder called Workspace. You can use this drop-down list box to find any place you need to search on your hard drive. In my workspace, there are a number of previously created projects. For this example, I'm going to open one called a Java Dynamic Web Project. Once I have navigated to where that's stored, I can simply click on the project and select Open. Now, if Eclipse recognizes that as an actual project folder, you'll start to see it listed here under this Projects window in the center of the dialog. It turns out that if you select a root directory, if there are more than one project in that root directory, then all of them will be listed here, and you can choose to open one or many. In this case, since there is only one, that is the one that's selected. For this simple example, all I next need to do is hit click on the Finish button. Click on Finish, and then watch what happens in your Eclipse environment. You should immediately notice that the project itself will appear listed in your Project Explorer window. 
you can click on the arrow to the left of the listing to see the folder structure of the current project. Let's assume I want to work next on the index.jsp file. I can simply double click on the file listing in the Project Explorer and then that will appear in the edit screen. Another nice trick to Eclipse is I might like to see this larger window as I'm editing. You can double click on the tab to expand that to a larger size, then simply double click on the tab once again to go back to the Java EE perspective where you can create and work on the whole project itself. You can customize the perspective by clicking on Window, Show View, and then finding another window that you might like to see. For instance, another way to view your files is to use the Navigator, similar to Package Explorer, but shows the true way in which files are stored on your hard drive. Notice when I select that window, it appears the same area, the same dock as the Project Explorer. And if I do not want to have that window, I can simply remove it by clicking on the X on the tab. Whether or not you want to customize a perspective, it's good to know how to do that because many times you might accidentally close a window that you're used to using. To get that back, simply go to Window, Show View, and find the one you lost. It's almost enough for this lesson. And let's see what we can do when we're finished working with the file and we want to clean out our Project Explorer. Generally, when I work on a project, I like to have as few projects open at one time, the minimum number I need. Sometimes that's one, sometimes that may, may be several if I'm copying things I've already created from one project to another. But to clean up the Project Explorer of projects that you're currently not using, you can simply right-click on the project itself and hit delete. This is basically just removing it from the Project Explorer window. To actually remove it from the hard drive, you would also need to check this box. So to clean up the Project Explorer window, right click on it, hit delete, and then press OK with the box unchecked. If I want to reopen it, File, Import, Existing Projects in Workspace, search for the file, and select it, hit Finish, and voila, it's open again. So in this lesson, we have seen how to open an existing Java project using Eclipse, and how to delete it from the workspace, and we've learned or reviewed some more Eclipse terminology such as perspective. As usual, you can find more information about Eclipse at its website and the source for all things Java at that website as well. This video was written and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. Dr. Piercy is director of the Master of Internet Technology program at the University of Georgia and a lecturer in the department of MIS at the Terry College of Business. You can find more about the Master of Internet Technology program at our website, mit.terry.uga.edu. This has been a Piercy production.